Sixth lesson. Thus I say, there are beings called the animate, viz. Those who are produced one. From eggs, birds, etc., two. From a fetus as elephants, etc., three. From a fetus with an enveloping membrane as cows, buffaloes, etc., four. From fluids as worms, etc., five. From sweat as bugs, lice, etc., six. By coagulation as locusts, ants, etc., seven. From sprouts as butterflies, wagtails, etc., eight. By regeneration men, gods, hell beings. This is called the samsara one for the slow, for the ignorant. Having well considered it, having well looked at it, I say thus, all beings, those with two, three, four senses, plants, those with five senses, and the rest of creation, experience individually pleasure or displeasure, pain, great terror, and unhappiness. Beings are filled with alarm from all directions and in all directions. See, the the benighted ones cause great pain. See, there are beings individually embodied. 2C. There are men who control themselves. Others pretend only to be houseless, for one destroys this body of an animal by bad and injurious doings, and many other beings, besides, which he hurts by means of animals, through his doing acts relating to animals. 3. About this the revered one has taught the truth, for the sake of the splendor, page 12 honor, and glory of this life, for the sake of birth, death, and final liberation, for the removal of pain, man acts sinfully towards animals, or causes others to act so, or allows others to act so. This deprives him of happiness and perfect wisdom. About this he is informed, when he is understood, or heard from the revered one or from the monks, the faith to be coveted. There are some who, of a truth, know this i.e. injuring to be the bondage, the delusion, the death, the hell. For this a man is longing, when he injures this body of an animal by bad and injurious doings, and many other beings, besides, which he hurts by means of animals, through acts relating to animals. Thus I say, for some slay animals for sacrificial purposes, some kill animals for the sake of their skin, some kill them for the sake of their flesh, some kill them for the sake of their blood, thus for the sake of their heart, their bile, the feathers of their tail, their tail, their big or small horns, their teeth, their tusks, their nails, their sinews, their bones one, with a purpose or without a purpose. Some kill animals because they have been wounded by them, or are wounded, or will be wounded. 5. He who injures these animals does not comprehend and renounce the sinful acts. He who does not injure these, comprehends and renounces the sinful acts. Knowing them, a wise man should not act sinfully towards animals, nor cause others to act so, nor allow others to act so. He who knows page 13 these causes of sin relating to animals is called a reward-knowing sage. Thus I say, 6 footnotes 12 colon 1 the word after bones athi is athamimgi, for which buffaloes, boars, etc. are killed, as the commentator states. I do not know the meaning of this word which is rendered athamimgi. Next, Book I, Lecture 1, Lesson 7.